Can you think of a word that has the short I sound? I? In this lesson, you'll learn how to decode words pronounced with the short I sound by remembering that it occurs in a closed syllable. So let's remember that vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, and consonants are the remaining letters of the alphabet. Every syllable has one vowel sound, and the number of vowel sounds equals the number of syllables in a word. So one vowel words always have one syllable. We also need to know that long vowel sounds say their alphabet name, like A, E, I, O, and U. Short vowels say A, I, E, A, and A, and the schwa sound says the sound A uh, as well. So now we really need to know that in a closed syllable, a vowel is followed by a consonant and makes a short sound. So here we have the A followed by the consonant T, so we're going to try it with the short vowel sound A, and we get the word cat. Now in an open syllable, a vowel isn't followed by anything and makes a long sound. This might be a little confusing, so look at this word. We've got the word P-A-P-E-R. The A is followed by a vowel, but if we tried it with a short vowel sound, that word would be pronounced papper. So to make it an open syllable, we'll break the syllable up after the A so that it'll have a long vowel sound, paper. Now a common mistake is that people want to always pronounce the letter I with a short I sound. So this word would have, they'd have say p in, pin, when really that word is pine because of that magic E, and this word is actually pin. Let's look at a few examples. So here in this first word we have that vowel I followed by the constant blend CK which closes that syllable in and makes it a closed syllable. So if we try that I with a short sound, it'd be the word brick. Yep, that makes sense. And here we have another vowel I followed by the sound sh with the sh, um, which is the consonant closing that in. So if we try it with a short vowel sound i, the word would be fish. Yep, that also makes sense. And this last word, we have the G closing the consonant in, so let's try the I with the I sound, p ig. Yep, that makes sense. So what we did is we looked at, the word, looked at the word to see if it had the vowel I. And if it did, we asked, is the vowel followed by a consonant? And if so, we pronounced the I with a short I sound, I. Now if it didn't make sense, we could try it with a long I sound. Let's look at a few more examples. First, we need to find that vowel. Now we need to ask, is that followed by a consonant? Yeah, it is. So let's try it with the short vowel sound i. Crib. Yep, that makes sense. Here we have a couple vowels. And in that first vowel i, is it followed by a consonant? Yes, it is. Because chiken doesn't make sense. So since there's a consonant there, We'll break the syllables up after the consonant blend. Chick and chicken. Here's another example. We have this I here. Is it followed by a consonant? It is. However, we also need to ask, is there a bopper E or a magic E at the end of the word? And there is. So no, this word is not going to make sense with a short syllable. Pin. The word is actually pine because of that magic E. So make sure we're also checking to make sure that consonant isn't followed immediately by an E. The word is pine. So we looked at the word to see if it had the vowel I in it. And if it did, we asked, is the vowel followed by a consonant? And remember, if it is followed by a consonant, we need to make sure there isn't a magic E at the end of the word. And finally, we pronounce the I with the short I sound. In this lesson, you learned how to decode the words pronounced with the short I sound, I, by remembering that it occurs in a closed syllable.